it's incredibly important to have more representation in politics, particularly women. It's absolutely vital that the political establishment reflects the population it's meant to serve. It's important that women get involved so that their life experiences are actually realised and listened to. Women can make a real difference to the world and they can get a great sense of fulfilment. It's good for a society to have more women involved in politics, but it's also something that lots of young women will find really rewarding. We um, had a tremendous lineup. So we had uh, figures from each of the three main parties. We had um, Angela Regal from the Labour Party, uh, Claire Perry from the Conservative Party, Jo Swinson from the Lib Dems, um, Caroline Lucas from the Green Party, and Helen Edwards from uh, DCLG. Yeah, it was really good. And the thing that I liked most is that there was such a diverse range. So that all parties were represented. And also they weren't just talking about women as a minority, but age being an obstacle, which again is something I think is often overlooked. People will underestimate you when you're young, and the key thing is not to let it hold you back, uh, because you can do what you put your heart to and put your mind to. Uh, there's no reason why the date on your birth certificate needs to be the thing that matters the most. Today, I learned about the self-determination required um, for a woman to make a difference. It was incredibly difficult, and I don't mean to put you off. Being up until the boy was 10, and last week I had a meeting with the Prime Minister, and he was home from school ill, so he just had to come. And he just had to sit there and root around the number 10 garden. And you know what? That was fine. I'm a mother with kids. If you want me to represent your party, then deal with it. Women make up 51% of the population. There's still only 20% representation across the House. And until a group starts to be about third women, I don't think things change. We need to have more people like yourselves in this place so that ultimately the people who are making the policies are more like the people for whom those policies are being made. So I don't look to hear some man telling me what women want. I look to hear what women are saying themselves. If you don't want to become an MP, do think about becoming a civil servant. So, fantastic place to work, lots of women, lots of opportunities. Most of the politicians who talk today, they started their career by realising that their opinion actually should be moved away from just shouting at the telly or being frustrated at the world and then trying to make an active difference in it. I was the first um, gay woman who came out who was a member of parliament. The best people to represent your needs, your requirements, your experience in your life in a democracy is you. For those of us that are looking to make a career or make a difference really with politics, it's good to hear the stories of the people who've been there, who've already faced these challenges and overcome them. I think the one piece of advice that I would give to the wider audience would be to have the courage of your convictions. It's always the right thing to say if that's what you feel deeply. My piece of advice to the audience today would be to do something else before politics first. Um, the best politicians, I think, are those that bring all sorts of experience, diversity, different thinking into the political space. The one piece of advice I would give is believe in yourself, don't give up and get support if you need it. One piece of advice I'd give the audience today is to trust your own opinions and remember that you have as much right to be heard as anyone else in this country. And I would just say, go for it, if it's what you want to do, if you're good enough, you're old enough.